What's up, ladies, gents, and the PIMP pimps? It's your girl, Alicia, and I am back with another video. Video, video, video. First of all, disclaimer, if you hear cars going back and forth, my window is open. I like to have my window open um, and have my fragrance, my white smells blowing. Well, not blowing, but melting. And they be a little strong sometimes, so I like to have the window open, have the fan blowing, but the fan is not blowing this time, but the air is you know, just circulate throughout the house, but also get any odors that may be in here, like trash that has sat around, excuse me, or anything of that sort. Anyways, first of all, how rude of my, how rude of my, how rude of me, how rude of me. <sighs> hello, how are you? If you're new here, hello, welcome to the channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hello, hello, <laughs> greetings. Oh, and thank you for the new Thank y'all. Love y'all forever. Anyways, um, if you're a returning subscriber, I love you. I appreciate you. I appreciate the new ones too, you know. But y'all keep coming and coming and coming, and I just feel like y'all really love me and that, that crap that I feel that in my heart. But yeah, I love y'all for real. But as you read by the title, this is a hi Jean. What is it? What's the title, y'all? Hygiene. Hygiene. I think my title is going to be All About Hygiene. Hygiene Talk. Plus Size Hygiene Talk. Head to toe. Boom. There it is. Woo! There it is. But for real, let's get into it for real. As you read by the title, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm over here looking because I wrote down everything I was going to talk about with you guys. So that way I won't be all over the place. Um, We're going to be talking about hygiene, of course. Your girl's going to give you some of her tips of what she do. Y'all don't have to do it. It works for me. It may work for you. It may motivate you to want to try something new. It may dog going to help you to be like, oh, I need to try this. It worked for her. Your girl be fresh and so clean, clean, smelling like... I don't know what I smell like. But, yeah, I mean, I smell good. I get compliments. So, and I stay fresh throughout the day. So, yeah. But, no, for real. Let's get into the video. I know y'all probably like, girl, what is you doing? I look crazy, don't it? Anyways, for real. Y'all like my hair? I combed it out and braided it. But it needs to be washed. So, it looks oily. But, y'all love me either way. So. Anyways, y'all, for real. Let's get into it for real. Okay, so, let's talk about... Let's, I don't even need that. Let's talk about the summer. Let's talk about the winter. Let's talk about these things. First of all, serious note, I'm a plus size woman. So, I feel like everyone should be bathing. You all should be bathing, point blank. Um, But sometimes we deal with, on a serious note, let's get serious. Sometimes we deal with depression. Sometimes we have kids and we're already trying to get them all together. Sometimes we're just simply tired. And I understand that. So I hope that this video actually sincerely does motivate you guys to do these things. You do not have to do this. I don't all the time do the whole nine yards. Sometimes, occasionally, for the treatment of myself, I do the whole nine yards. But I will let you know what I definitely do every day. And the things that I do like once a month or every other week. Like, because sometimes I do have a big routine. But I'll definitely get into that and talk about that with you guys. So no shame here. None whatsoever. I have my social medias um on the intro. So if you ever want to reach out to me personally, I am not one of those people that's gonna ever post about it, what you say. Um if you do want me to talk about it in another vlog, I'll post it anonymously. But don't ever be afraid because we've all been there before and we're all human. Don't let nobody make you feel less than what you are because you're beautiful, you're strong, and you got this, okay, girl? So let's get right into it. I'm gonna start with from head to toe, my hair. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I'm one of those people that I dread doing my hair because it is long, but it's fine, but it's long. And sometimes I just, I can't do nothing. I can't wear weave because I put so much hair dye in my hair over the time. So my hair is very sensitive. My scalp is very sensitive to a lot of products. I mean, a lot of weave, so I can't really do that. So I'm stuck with wearing my real hair. And if anybody knows wearing your real hair is a pain in the butt because you have to do it. 
Like, you ain't gonna just put no style in and just rock it for some days. You're gonna have to brush it out. You're gonna have to comb it out. I want some braids. I ain't gotta touch it. But that doesn't always happen. So what I do like to do, I have a paddle brush. I meant to bring my brush up here, but I did it. Y'all know what a paddle brush is. And I like to just take my hair into sections. Get this section right here, brush it out, and I braid it up. I walk around here looking like Felicia. But I braid that hair up real good and go like this occasionally. And now I just got this new brush from Sheen, but y'all will see that in the Sheen haul where it goes like this and it glides, like the pieces break up. I'm ready to try that. But that's what I do as far as my hair. I do put oil in my hair. I put, I think it's African Pride. I'll put a picture right here. And all of the items that I'm going to have in this video will be linked to my storefront. The link will be in my description. Um, but I do put um, African Pride in my hair. And I put it in my boyfriend's hair and in my daughter's hair. And y'all look. That crap work. It work, work. Like his hair is down his back. You know, I know it's. I know it's helping because it's moisturizing. It has everything into one. Y'all will see it. But that's what I do as far as my scalp. Um, I don't do nothing too extreme. I try to stay away from heat. I rarely flat iron my hair. But when I do, I do. And I use a heat protectant when I do it. But that's pretty much what I do as far as my hair wise. Now, I do watch Chloe Yasmin. And I see that she did mention hair perfume. I don't really want to put nothing on my hair because I don't trust anything. Her hair is very beautiful and it still looks good. She does have thicker hair to me personally than I do. Now, when I wash my hair, it's very thick. But as you see, it goes back to this. Thin. Fine. So, I wouldn't mind doing it, but I'm a little skeptical. But she does use hair. Does you ha She does use. She do use. What the hell? I need to go back to school. She uses hair perfume and she's always talking about how good it is. And you know, I, I want to try, but I might give it a try. Now I do spray my regular perfume go like this. Not good. I don't do it all the time, but I do it. Okay. But we're still on head. So let's get to it. Now, my face. First of all, I get in the shower before anything. So do I want to start with the face? Okay. I do my face after I got the shower, but I'll go ahead and go into the face and talk about it. With my face, I simply just use Cetaphil. It has makeup and stuff on it. Ignore it. I use Cetaphil. That's my go-to. The daily facial facial cleanser. I squirt some. Sometimes I go ahead and put it on my brush and exfoliate. Sometimes I just put it on my hands. Run a little hot water and get the real good on my neck. All right here. Get it all in my face. Get the nose. Even with the nose ring. If y'all scared, y'all nose ring come out or it hurt when it come out, just... Hold that nose ring and go like this. The brush never bothers my nose. So if you're one of those people that's like scared to use the brush, the exfoliating brush on your nose, it doesn't come out. It doesn't bother at all. But I use Cetaphil and I use an actual face cloth. I got this from Dollar Tree. Face cloth, very soft. I do wash it. I don't use, um, I don't put any fabric um, sheets in it when I'm using it in the dryer. Cause I don't want no scent on it, but I do wash it or it's just best to just probably hand wash it. You don't want no chemicals on your face, but I do use a face wash. I mean, a face cloth to, you know, rinse my face and get it off. I dry it really, really good. And I go in with my Cetaphil lotion. This stays in my mini fridge because I like it cold and it actually feels good cold. And I feel like I get a lot of benefits from it. Like right now, I can't really see on the camera. I'm breaking out and I have dry skin because it's been cold and I've been outside lately with my boyfriend working on the car. And that's being around dirt, being around the different weather changes. My face has started breaking out. When I use Cetaphil, that breakout clears up in a day. That's me. Uh, I'm not sure if that works for other people, but for me, Cetaphil has never stirred me wrong. Never. And like I said, I do keep this in the fridge because it just feels good on my face. But it did make it liquidy. Anyways, it did make it liquidy, so it does come out like, and this is actually, actually, body and face, so you can use on your body too, so it comes out like that, see, where it's actually thicker, so if you don't like that, look at that, and it just rubs in like that, but see, it's still good, I gotta wash my face in a way, but my face is itchy. Yeah, so I put that on my face, now I pretty much try to keep my hands out of my face. I know it's easier said than done, but we touch so much stuff lately. And not lately. We touch so much things in a day. And we touch our face so much more than we think that we do. You Sometimes you're not even thinking. You just... 
you're doing random things and you're touching your face and you just got done touching something. So my big thing with that too, I'm still, I'm all over the place, but I'm still talking about hygiene. I always, when I'm in the shower, I wash under my fingers, fingernails, all that. Or if I'm just going to the bathroom, I wash under my fingernails. I have this five below. I'm um, pretty sure you can sell off Amazon, but five below. It comes with the brush, the pumice stone. I forgot what these are called. And the little grater. I don't use the grater because you actually are sh shedding your skin. It's not necessarily good. I use this to get dead skin off my feet or the pumice stone. But anyways, let's talk about this right now. This brush. I get me some soap. Put some soap on here. And I get the scrub in it. This is a little hard and that hurt. But I get the scrubbing, going under them nails, getting them nails real good, rinse my nails, rinse this, go back in and do it again. Because your nails really do carry dirt, and you're not going to see that dirt. So you just, I just use that to get it. Like, I got to get it because I'm touching my face constantly, and I don't want to be irritated. Like, and I get irritated quickly. But that's what I do as far as, like, right here. Now, I did just get this, the ice sculpting thing. I got this off Amazon that is in my storefront. Where, you know, the little mold and you just put the ice on your face. Because cold, usually I have my little roller for my face. And I do have that in my mini fridge as well. And it is cold. And it does feel good on my face. And I feel like I do see a lot of benefits from it. And I have this opening right here that I put the water into. Put it in the freezer. And, of course, you'll see the video on TikTok when I promote it. I have not promoted this yet. So, you guys are first to see it. Like a little pill bottle. But... I don't want to start that, but I have not started yet. So maybe in the later version, you guys will see my review on it. Or maybe on TikTok, I'll put my review on there. But I do that for my face, um, the Cetaphil and all that good stuff. Now, my lips, I stay hydrated. Either I'm using my conditioner lip gloss from Victoria's Secret. I just got something on the way. I'm not going to say who it's from because that's going to be in another vlog. Stay tuned. But I got a package coming from a company. Very familiar company that y'all know about. And I got this lip oil that I'm going to try from them. So, but I use this. Vaseline Lip Therapy Cocoa Butter. I have it on now. Not too much. I try to put on this or my lip treatment oil. I think it's peppermint. I have to look it up and put it right here for you guys. Um, If I don't, remind me please. To just tell y'all what it is. And I got mosquito bite. It's right here but no i use that because i try to keep my lips hydrated when i do go out i do put on my lip liner my lip gloss lipstick the whole nine yards but in the house i try to just keep it simple um keep my lips soft when they get cracked i have a habit of biting the inside of my gums so i definitely bite my lip too i try not to do it because it will leave a sore and it will leave your lips looking the big old red spot on her lap but that's what i do as far as that now my nose y'all i have strawberry nose can i see it let me see. I'm trying to hide the sun. I have strawberry nose. I have those little bitty hairs in my nose. This is my go-to friend. It's your go-to friend too. Y'all, I got this off Sheen or DH Gate. I think I got it off Sheen though. This, I had a whole little kit. And the only thing I do, this might be disgusting. I go like this. Hold on. This way. See, this side need to be up. And I... y'all see that stuff like that come out y'all can't see it y'all see that little thing on there stuff like that come out and it's always it never fails because my skin is naturally oily so i got some oil blotting sheets i'll put that in my next vlog as well with my haul that i have coming up um i got some of those and i got this little roller too that's um oil observes i'm gonna tell y'all how that works because my face is oily i always get oily right here Right here, I'm always getting oily, but I always go in with this every night. Try to at least every night. If not every night, you know, every other night. And get all that. It's not doing it right now because I'm not really applying no pressure. But this, this side is definitely. Y'all see? Like, this is what my nose ring was. Y'all seen it? Anyways, let me stop for y'all. Be like, ew! What she doing? But yeah, it always come out. It never fails. I use this and I just push up in the positions. Now, some people like my boyfriend, I can just push his nose like this and they'll come up. They'll come out. Push his nose right there, come out. Push right here, it'll come out. 
I can't do that to my nose. It doesn't work. So I have to go in with this and it works. Now I use my face steamer sometimes too. That's not something I do every night. It's not something I do every week. I'm going to be very real with y'all. I do it once a month. And by the way, this is not just a plus size. You guys, anybody can follow this. I'm just saying plus size because I'm a plus size woman. I want to help another plus size woman or anybody, any woman in general. I just put plus size on plus size. But I use that for my nose because I got to clean those pores and get those pores clean. Go along these lines right here because it's very oily right there too. Get those pores. Get my pores clean. I do pluck my eyebrows, but that's not necessarily a hygiene thing. I pluck them with the tweezers right here because I be getting the unibrow. And I have to show you that. <laughs> but yeah, so as far as my face, that's pretty much it. I mean, my ears, of course, when I'm in the shower, I do go ahead at the end of the shower when I'm done completely using that rag. I do, of course, go in. I go in right here with the soap anyways. But I go back for another round right here, but also go along these. Go along these. With that rag. Done with that rag. I do use a rag, a different rag every time. I was one of those girls growing up that used one rag. No, I'm not using that. No, I don't do that no more. I do change out my rags every single time I take a shower. Whatever rag I use when I took a shower is disregarded afterwards. I Yes, I wash every freaking Sunday. <laughs> the, the rags got their own load. But I, I do use separate rags every time. So that's why I feel comfortable doing that. Um, but I do that, of course. And I do use q-tips but i mean you're really not supposed to use q-tips and i rarely try to use them but i go in just a little clean to make sure everything is good clean around my ear hole because you'll be surprised i had my ears pierced for years you're you still will have dirt and it still will stink promise you get a ring look got this little thing right there a long time ago get your earring dip in some um cleaner put it in there go in and out in and out clean those ears but let's get off the face and let's go into everywhere else a part of the body oh Nope, let's go into our mouth because I'm going over everything with y'all. So, we're going into um, oral hygiene. Now, my other vlog where I said get ready with me or a shower with me or something like that, I think it's still posted on here. What I do, of course, I brush my teeth. You actually supposed to change out your toothbrush. Am I one of those girls? No, I am not. I need to be one of those girls. But I also, peroxide is my best friend. I brush my teeth with peroxide. I leave my toothbrush in peroxide. Kill those germs. All that. I know some people may be like, why you do that? I do it. I'm about to start oil pulling. Save my teeth. Because I don't need my teeth falling out on me. I need them. So, I'm going to do some oil pulling. To help and strengthen your teeth and save your teeth. But I definitely, if y'all go back on that clip, y'all will see. I'll probably insert the clip. I'll try if I can find it. And I definitely floss. Floss is my go-to. I brush my teeth first. Then I go in. Floss. Get everything out, rinse this off, go back, rinse, go back, go rinse, go, 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 go. I have a tooth that's like a cavity or something, which I've had before, and it's like a little smelly between that tooth. I do try to put something like toothpaste on here and go in, and I have a water flosser. So I get the water flosser and rinse, so there's no toothpaste still left in there. But that way I get that toothpaste in there at least and pick at it, but don't hurt yourself. Please don't. Then I go in with my peroxide, pour it on my toothbrush real good, pour a little bit in my mouth, do this, goggle with it, all that good stuff. Rinse. I always clean my tongue. Oh, God. Oh, no, that was wrong. Anyways, clean your tongue. Brush your tongue. Brush it real good. I do have this kit that I've gotten a long time ago at Walmart. I'm going to find one on Amazon and put it on my storefront for you guys. It's called Dentec. And it comes with, y'all, I wanted to be a dentist. That's what I went to school, though. It comes with the little mirror, which I use another mirror to look inside my teeth with that mirror. It comes with this little picker, and it comes with a harder picker. And I use these to get plaque off my teeth throughout the day, just randomly, because it's fun to me. Um, and just to pick around and make sure I didn't get, miss anything, just go around the edges. Because one thing I hate seeing, and look, I ain't got no white, no pearly whites. But one thing I hate seeing is people with pearly whites and the yellow in between. Cause how that happen? But they ain't my beginning. I got this. I got this a long time ago too, but I'm gonna try to link it in my storefront. I don't know if they still sell it or not. It's called Active Wild Activated Chalk Activated Coconut Charcoal Powder, Natural Teeth Whitening. I personally feel like it do something. I got this a long time ago, y'all. But I feel like this does something. Because I don't use it all the time, but when I use it, I see a difference. So I said I was gonna get more active. Only thing about it is black. You're going to have to use a separate toothbrush because you're going to be doing a lot of cleaning out of your sink. 
I would say clean as you go. As you brush and you see a splash near, well, get it. Hair up and get it. And use a different toothbrush. They gave me a charcoal toothbrush with this, but I lost it, of course. Because why do I still have that toothbrush anyways? But that's what I do as far as my mouth switch around some Listerine, all that good stuff. But that's how I take care of my mouth. I do brush my gums. When I brush my teeth, I go in with my gums. Get the gums and all of that good stuff. But let's go in right into the body. Me, personally, I like a good rough rag. Yes, I don't want no big thick rag because I got no control on no grip. I'm just, I need them rags that's, that's it's about this size or a little bigger and they, they rough, them rough ones. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I wish I had one right next to me so I could show it to y'all. And I like to control it. I like, I'm, I'm talking about, I level my body up. You don't see no skin. I get in there, go behind the ear, get the back of that neck. One thing about it, you're nasty. If you're not watching the back of your neck because your hair is done, you're nasty. But, 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 some people do that. And what I got the tip for that is, wash your neck, regardless. Have that bunnet on and wash your neck outside the shower. Or wash it in the shower, but instead of rinsing back there, get, get this, rinse it off, and put the water back there yourself. That's how you avoid it. But there should be no reason why you're not washing your neck. No reason. But anyway, this is what I do. I go ahead and I do wash my body. I wash this part, wash my neck, get my back. If you have a trouble reaching your back, hold this, hold this, go back down and go like this. But I really suggest getting a brush, a, a brush. Get it in there, like, especially as a big woman. If anyone should be doing it, but especially as a bigger woman, it's hard for us to reach sometimes. But y'all, the bras be sweating, the bras stink. Look at the back of your bra next time. You may be like, ain't nothing back there, girl. It's there. Wash that back. I get right here, get under rolls, get everywhere, get that back real good. And I get right here under your breasts. I don't use powder, but I need to because I do sweat a lot right there. But I don't know the go-to powder because I'm not trying to get nothing. Like no long-term problems because i'm using powder so i am gonna do a little more research on it to see what i should be using but i do not recommend i don't recommend anything i don't have anything but they do sweat and you should get something if you have anything in mind let me know but i do get under my breast go around here <sighs> excuse me and then i wash it back off i know you're like girl you're not even done with your body yeah i know i wash it back off then i go in and well i can go to my legs without washing it out but i go to my legs bathe my legs bathe the back of my legs bathe the back of y'all legs there's somebody leaving. Bathe the back of y'all legs. Bathe the back of y'all legs. Bathe the back of y'all legs. Bathe y'all legs. Bathe every part of your body. Bathe it. I get those legs. Get those thighs. Get the back of the legs. Under the knees. They be sweating. They be sweating. I bathe all that. I avoid my feet. I avoid my vagina. I avoid my butt. I avoid my belly button. I avoid my underarms. The reason why I do all those things separate. So I get everyone on my body. I rinse my washcloth. I like to go in personally with a brush. Like how I use like another brush that I have and I go under my arms. Deodorant is your is your enemy, but your friend. It's a sour patch kid. We need it to cover up the funk. But too much deodorant is caked up on your arm is what causes the funk. Half the time. I like to scrub all that deodorant on off. So when it's time for the new deodorant come on, I'm good. I scrub all that deodorant off with the brush. Wash my underarms real good. Wash that brush off. Wash this off. Real, real good. Rinse it off real good. Put some more soap in. I go in. Bathe the crevices. Bathe, bathe the creases of your, your coon. Bathe under your belly. Bathe under it. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Put that leg up. Put that leg up. And I did. I do use this. But I'll go into that in a minute. Bathe it real good. Rinse that off. Get some more soap. I know y'all like, girl, really? Yes. That, now, that's something I do every day. Bathe that butt. Get the butt cheese. Get under the butt cheese. Get in there. And what I like to do, my girl Chloe has me say it too. Poke, poke your butt out like you finna, like you finna poop. Like push out when you're doing that. If you gotta poop, go ahead and poop before. But don't be doing it if you gotta poop. But go ahead and push out a little bit and bathe. It's really going to do a difference. And I was doing it with my body wash too. I was using regular soap bar and then going to my body wash. I started itching. I don't recommend it. You can do it. I don't recommend it. It started, it bothered me. So I stopped using my body. I, my problem was I was using different body wash every night. Just use the same body wash and then gradually turn into another one. But yeah. Anyways, get in there. Rinse this off real good. Go in there. Get out that belly button. Clean out that belly button real good. Clean it out. I don't know when you clean out your belly button. I don't care how you do it. I have a deep belly button. This deep. Whole pinky on there. I know that's disgusting, but it really can. 
I have to get in there. I have to get in there, get in there, get in there. But I'm gonna tell y'all what else I do after that. Also, let's go, because I already just told you my whole body, my feet. I put soap on this bad boy right here. And I go down there and I scrub my feet. And I scrub the bottom of my feet and I go like this. Soap right here on my toes. Sweat on my toes. I go and get in my toes. Ew, I just put that on me. But anyway, I get in my toes. Go, go, go. Under your toes stink. All right? They stink. Y'all need to bathe your feet. Get in between them toes. Get under the, um, them toenails. Mandatory. Mandatory. It stinks. Don't come with my feet. Don't st it stinks. Yeah. It stinks. Get the bottom of them feet with this. This you ain't doing that. It hurting you. This or a pumice stone. A good pumice stone. Dollar Tree. Anywhere. Pumice stone from Dollar Tree. You just go out. But get you a good pumice stone. It's worth the price. Scrub your feet with this thing right here. I don't know what it's called. It's black thing. Scrub them feet. I'm telling you. I give my man a pedicure and... Be on it, baby. Be on it. Be on it. Be on it. Be on it. He like, my feet look good. I know. I did it. But that's what I do as far as my feet. Also, when I get out, I get this. I go under my toes and I get the stuff. Whatever may be left in there. Because when your feet are wet, that's when all the stuff is going to come out. Get this side and push down. Any little dead skin or cuticles that need to be coming out, get that. Put it off. You need, you got some dead, some cuticles. Not cuticles. Some overgrown cuticles. You know the stuff that they be using. Get this. Just glide it across. Don't be hurting yourself. Glide it across the meat that you see. To get that little bit off. Keep you a, a pedicure every day. When you, you going to pedicure? You ain't got to go. You already did your feet. And if you don't have that, you got some clippers and they got one of these in it. Get this stuff from under your toes. You could be laying in bed. Get it from under your toes. Well, I don't, don't lay in bed. Because where you going to put it in? Unless you got a little napkin with you or something. But I also put this in my shower. I got this from Dollar Tree. You can get it from anywhere. You can do the vape ones, the vapor ones. Shower fizzers. Open this bad boy, put it in the shower, and let it just steam on up. It's just like a bad bomb, but it's a shower bomb. This one is the coconut scent. It made me feel like a luxury spa day. I don't know about y'all, but that's how I feel. Also, as far as my shower, I do like to go in. I make my own sugar scrub. My ingredients were sugar... I think I put peppermint um, oil in there, just a little bit, and some Dove body wash, the unsensitive kind, with the um, sensitive kind. I use this. My daughter uses it. It helps with her scars. She had a scar from maybe some years ago that she failed. That scar is disappearing. Exfoliate them legs and them arms. This is so worth it. You can make it at home. You don't even have to go pay an arm and leg for it. I use it. My family uses it. But that's what I use inside the shower. I also use exfoliating gloves sometimes to exfoliate. I do shave my legs. I don't have any special routine for that. I do recommend exfoliating. I don't do it all the time, though. Um, but I don't really have any special routine for that. So I'm not going to lie to you guys say I do. When I got in the shower, my belly button, I get a Q-tip. I put a little soap on it. Yes, I go again. I go in there, swivel around. Get the other side of Q-tip, rinse. Or I go over the sink, rinse my belly, out, but belly button out. I get one of these, or you get some tissue, and I go in to clean. Your belly button needs to be dry, ladies. Anybody, I don't care what size you are, their belly button needs to be dry. Every part of your body needs to be dry, even your feet. Your feet is what the funk can come from, dog, on not drying yourself right. Dry your body. Dry your body. Dry your body. I cannot stress that enough. Dry your body. Dry every bit of your body. Some women air dry, that's cool, but you need to dry, dry areas that need to be dry. Belly button is a must for me. I stick it in, I dry it real good. And then I go over it, dry my body. Listen, ladies, this is a key. This is a key thing I'm trying to teach you right here. Go get you a fan off Amazon. It's in my storefront. Go get you a fan. You ain't got the money. Go get you some paper. Fold it up. I don't care what you do. This is my fan. Show y'all different setting. That's the low setting. See my hair ain't moving for you. Second setting. Third setting. Anyways, I use this to dry down there. I pat dry the cre crevices. And I go in, open them legs. If I can't find my fan, I get me something just fan it. Put that down there. Baby, half the time y'all like, I just bathed that mess out my cat. It still has some type of scent. 
dry it. Our lens, our, we sweat after getting that shower for one. I hate that. I hate that we do that. But I, me, my thighs is closing my 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 vagina in. It's closing it in, so it's gonna accumulate sweat. It, I don't stink, but we've all had that. But I just bathe really good. Why do I still have a, like a, a a scent? Air drying has not done nothing wrong to me. When I say I don't have a scent, this this I air dry, air dry. Open them legs, fan it, fan it, fan it, fan it. Dry that thing out. It need to be dry. I know y'all are like, girl, TMI. Dry. I'm, I'm so serious though. Like, you're going to have to dry it out. You're going to have to dry it out. Also, key thing. If you watch my girl, McKenna Walker, she didn't put your girl on and she ain't got your girl back off. Which is Claw. Put it on there. Swipe up that butt. Go do it. Swipe up that ass. Oh, sorry. Swipe up that butt. Ever since I've been doing it, y'all, my butt stays fresh a long time. And I freshen up every now and then. Like, if I have just took a shower and it's the next day, the next morning, I freshen up. I swipe up again with some more. I also get some and I put it under my arms. Now, the first time I did it under my arms, it did itch. Because if you're trying to go from aluminum to not aluminum, that's the best bet to, like, cleanse your underarms. But I did it anyways. It after that first day it didn't itch at all. And it wasn't a bad itch, like maybe a couple seconds itch and it stopped. So you don't think like, oh, I don't need to do that, then it's gonna make me itch. No, I promise you it's completely safe. It hasn't bothered me, but I'm also not a doctor and don't do anything that you know is gonna bother you. And if it is gonna bother you, just discontinue it and rinse real good. But I use it under my arms and swipe up my butt. And it's a game changer. I put on my deodorant. She does have some deodorant for her butt, it's called sweet cheeks. I wanna try that out. I haven't tried it out yet. But I said I was going to. But yeah. Like for real y'all. It is the go to. Now. I also forgot to tell y'all about my lip scrub. I also put a lip scrub on too. Like this one. But I wouldn't put soap in it. This would be just regular sugar and honey. That y'all could do is fully in y'all lips. But other than that you know. But HS. Let's talk about it balls on your thighs maybe your butt area i get them especially on my thighs and i get flare-ups bleach i know get in that tub run that water get you a cap full put some bleach in there that flare-up gonna go if you know what i'm talking about those balls between your thighs like what do you think coming from i get them from my pc pcos i'm assuming i get them and i have a flare-up every time it's time for my cycle that bleach bath gonna dry them things up like that no problem it does need to be, if you don't want to do it, like, I ain't doing it. I'm going to put bleach right on it. No. Please put it in some water and then put it on there if you want to do it that way. But I recommend just sitting in the tub. If you don't want to, you can put it on your thigh. It's 100% safe. Nothing has happened to me. My pH has never been knocked out for it. None of that stuff. So, don't don't feel like, bleach girl, are you sure about that? Yes. Now, I did used to drink chlorophyll water. And I feel like it definitely helped 100%. I needed to go back. I left mine um, back in um, Montgomery when I left. So, I don't have it anymore, but I do need to buy some more. If, um, fenugreek, ferrogreek, whatever it's called, I need that for my PCOS. But McKenna said that it makes you taste sweet and smell sweet. I'm not really worried about that. Um, not saying I wouldn't do it. I would definitely do it. I'm just saying, like, I really feel like it has a lot of great benefits, too, for your health and your odors. So, I feel like, ladies, if you want to try that, go ahead and try that. I'm looking to make sure I didn't miss over anything with you guys, because I don't want you guys to be like, well, you didn't go over this. I feel like I pretty much went over everything that I pretty much do. Um, oh, this is another thing. I make my own, I make my own body butter. Stay moisturized, lady. I know that some of us feel like we don't need lotion. I was always that girl who feel like I didn't need lotion. I don't have to put no lotion on. I'm just fine. Um, you need lotion regardless because your skin gets dry and I get dry patches a lot. I need to take care of my young skin so it can take care of my older skin. Keep that in mind. So please moisturize your skin. When I put on perfume, I do put on the oil base first, and then I put on my perfume. Um, or sometimes when my skin is still a little wet, I try to put some lotion on. But not too much, because it's always scented, Victoria's Secret, something like that. The air I just promoted EOS. I used to love their lip balm, so I'm going to try their lotion. She said it's a hold hold. I get holds. Not trust the air when I promote something she does not want. One last tip. Go into the bathroom. The restroom, ladies, if you don't have to do anything else, your best investment will be one of these. Pregnant women, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen something like this before. 
I got this off Amazon. So my storefront before I was using this, I was using a regular water squirt bottle that I got like over drinking water squirt bottle that I wasn't using anymore. I was using that. Get this. I can close it down. I can pull it up. I have a lid, a top to it behind me right here. And turn it this way. I don't want to. I have water in there. And squeeze. I wonder if I can squeeze it. Don't be like me. Don't be like me. Don't be like me. Be better than me. But no, for real, you can squeeze it. And I'm going to take the video for my promo that I did. Now, don't get me wrong. Yes, I did a video for Amazon storefront. But y'all, I'm not putting nothing in my storefront. You can believe me or not. I'm not putting nothing in my storefront that I'm not using. I'm just not doing it. All the stuff is going to have videos attached to it. Promise you that. I'm not putting nothing in there that I'm not using it. No, I'm going to use it. But this is the best investment. You turn it upside down when you're in the tub and you put it near that area for y'all ladies to, you know, got the fat open. I pee and I go ahead and clean myself with this and I go and wipe myself out with the tissue. I watched a video one day. <laughs> McKenna does that as well. That's why I got the idea to get that bottle from. I was using the regular bottle. I never had a baby, so I don't know nothing about those squirt bottles. But I was watching a comedy skit and the lady was, um, I guess that's what they do in their culture. But she was like, bring me my something. But it was like a bucket. And the son was like, uh, it's like my mom did that because, um, she's like, I don't want to have a salty, whatever, salty vagina, I guess. Now her vagina is to stay fresh. Literally, that's my go-to when I'm using the restroom. Like I grab that. That's going to go on the go with me. It's going to go on the go with me. I'm going to have it water in there. I'm going to have my lid on it. It's not going to be leaking out. None of this stuff. I've tried it in my luggage. I'm going to try it again to give y'all my big luggage to see how it works. That's my go-to. It's going to stay with me, stay on me. Because when I'm using that bathroom, I go ahead and cleanse myself. It keeps me fresh all day. You have to think about it. When we pee, we just wiping. I'm just wiping the pee on me. It's drying up on me. No. And in me, my pee go everywhere. It be on my butt cheeks, the bottom of my butt cheeks and everything. Like, what are you doing? That is my go-to when I'm using the bathroom and freshening up with my witch hazel. Now, if you're traveling, what I'm going to be doing soon, you'll see in my Pack With Me vlog, which will be next week. Stay tuned. Um, I'm going to show y'all how I bring it with me. Like my witch hazel or my foam wash. That's what I was going to tell you about my foam wash. When I am out the shower, this is my Rael foam wash. I love it. I love their pads too. Their pads don't give me no problems, no cramping, no none of that. This has coconut basil and sugar cane i just foam it in my hands i could put another video up there or show y'all a video of how i've used it before we're just showing it in my hand the um texture of it i'm, I'm probably gonna put this in a little bottle no i'm just gonna bring this i don't want to travel size this but i would like to carry this around in my purse because i could just rinse because you use this you use your hand to do this but i don't want to use my hand and then cleanse myself in the bathroom in public and then open the door. Somebody gonna be like, she just touched her cat. But no, if you think about it, everybody who touched the bathroom door just touched their they vagina. Oh God. This is why it's very important. Just bring, just unravel that tissue. Another thing that I do, another tip, this is just a random tip. When you go out in public, that tissue that's still there, rip that off, throw it away. Get you some fresh tissue. Ain't, ain't no such thing as fresh tissue in this world. I try to avoid public restroom, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Clean that seat. Okay? Because if you can't squat down, which I suggest try at least, put air, put take that tissue up on there. If you can't hold it, spray it down. You'll do something. Because, look, people nasty. All right? But, y'all, that's pretty much everything that I want to go over about my hygiene. I will do an updated one if I feel like I missed anything. But I want to do head to toe so that way I don't leave nothing out and you guys will know everything to the T. I will be trying to do one when it comes to cycle time, like when it's time for my period. But it's pretty much the same, too, what I would do with my squirt bottles to go to. And I probably would definitely do foam wash. But we'll go over that another time. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. I thank you for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, I love you to pieces, which I always do. I always will. Even if you stopped after two minutes, I love you because you... You gave me the time of day. But also, um, if you haven't seen the last video, make sure you go check it out. It's a Sheen haul. And I got a video coming right next week. So you ain't got to wait too long, girl. I'm going to do a pack with me so you guys can see what I'm packing in my bag. And I got a lot of new items. So it's going to be fun. Like I said, once again, a lot of these items will be linked in my storefront at the bottom. Make sure you click on that. And thank you guys for tuning in. Bye.